What's going on guys, Sam so I'm back with another Batman vehicle review and today we're taking a look at the Hot Wheels Batman Forever Batmobile. This is the 118 scale. So it comes in a really, really nice box. I did pick this up at BigBadToyStore.com. Click on the link in the description if you guys want to pre-order or actually order this or order any other Hot Wheel figures or vehicles from Batman. So you got a really, really nice looking box right here. I got this a long time ago and I'm barely getting to reviewing this. So you got the cool image of Val Kilmer as Batman right here. You got the bat signal image of the uh, actual vehicle right there. And then right here, I like the top of the box. You have the Batman logo with the Riddler, you know, the question mark right there. Uh, we come to the side, just reads Hot Wheels. The bottom, it's got, you know, all the information about the uh, makers. And then you have Hot Wheels over here. And on the back, you have this right here. And it shows you little images, you know, what, what this actually can do. You know, the cockpit opens up or the canopy opens up. And uh, you have the like the movie poster right there on the far right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle. So we're going to take a close look at the Batmobile. Now it does have a lot of cool little features on it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't light up. Um, just like the Kenner 1990, like the, the Kenner 1990, just like the original Kenner Batmobile from Batman Forever, that one did light up. But this still does have a lot of cool little features on it. So you can see right here, you can see part of the, um, I'm guessing this is part of the engine that you can see through it. But what would, again, what would make this really pop is if it really did glow in the dark. And right here you can see some of the cables and tubings and you know the it's kind of open right here and then you have the wheels which have the batman logo and i believe in the movie they also glow it in the dark so you have the actual tires there and they do have a lot of detailing in the tires the tires look great and they do roll you have this part right here covering the wheel and each of them has their own fin so you can see the fin right here here's the front part it's a quick little top look very nice you got the headlights right there in the front it's really really cool look at this the wheels actually turn the front ones do at least you can get them side to side you can see that if I turn this upside down you can see that turning there and this they do roll very well so there's a look at the bottom here's another side view you got this fin right here you have the exhaust right here this one's a lot bigger I don't think the movie is uh, pops out that far like it does in, in, in this Hot Wheels version. If you can see right there, the, nothing comes out of it. It doesn't turn or anything, but you got that piece right there. It's fairly large exhaust, but it's got some nice little detailing on it. And you have a larger fin right here on the top. This one is removable, so when you take it out of the box, you have to just attach this, and it's just attached by some pegs that you peg into the top, but it looks great. I do like the design of this Batmobile. You have the canopy right here with the windows, and there is a feature on here, but mine never really worked, to be honest with you. There's a button right here that you push. Oh, see, now it happens to work. So close this up. Get right here. You push the button. Check this out. See, and that opens up the uh, the cockpit right here and it slides to the front. And you can kind of see in there, you can see the seats and there's a Batman logo right there. And uh, when you go, if you can even look inside, so you can see the steering wheel right there and the steering wheel in the center of the steering wheel does have the Batman logo. And when it turns, you, the steering wheel, when you turn the wheels, the actual steering wheel turns as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is a two seater. But unfortunately, you can't fit uh, any kind of figure really in here. Like for instance, I'll take out the multiverse figure. This is for the Batman Beyond. And if you try putting him in here, he'll take up both seats, but he still won't fit in there. So you'd have to get a very, very small Batman figure to make this work. But look at this, it does roll fairly nicely. And it is just a great, great looking piece. I love this. And because of this, it, it's you know it's making me want to get more Hot Wheels figures. There is a Batman uh, 89, or I think it's Batman Returns version of this. So I might be picking it up. I do have the Batman versus Superman one on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of the Hot Toys. Hot Toys. 
Quick little review of the Hot Wheels 118 scale Batman Forever Batmobile by Hot Wheels, guys. Now, if you guys want this, make sure to click on the link in the description for BigBadToyStore.com. Let me know what other Hot Wheels vehicles you guys recommend in this scale. Leave your comments below. And I would like to see if anyone ever customized this and put light-up features on this because I think that's what this is missing is some light-up uh, function on it. But either way, it is still a beautiful piece. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little look at the Hot Wheels Batman Forever Batmobile. We'll see you guys later. Peace.